Hello, welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by IT Help Me. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Active Directory Bulk Account Creator and specifically show you what's new in version 2.5. I won't get into too much detail on how to use the whole feature since this is just um, the new version. So if you want to look at the old video tutorial and that'll show you more into detail on how to use every Active Directory account attributes but I'll briefly recap on some of the main points. And with that, let's get started. In version 2.5, the new feature is uh, the ability to modify existing accounts, such as if you want to change the description or the password of accounts that you've already created prior to that or existing accounts. And these accounts, these existing accounts does not even have to be created by this utility. It could be any accounts within your Active Directory that you want to modify. You can put that in Excel and go ahead and uh, run the script and it'll modify those accounts to whether, whatever attributes you define in the spreadsheet. Now the system requirement for this is Windows XP and I believe that's the minimum and I haven't tested on any other operating systems but as you can see my operating system here is a Windows XP with Service Pack 2. You'll need to be logged in with an account that has rights to create the accounts in Active Directory and of course if you're going to be using the Excel mode you'll need to have Excel installed. I've tested this on Excel uh, from Office 2003 Professional. Other than those system requirements, you don't need anything else and we should be ready to go. You see here on my computer, I have the Windows support tools installed. Uh, this is not a system requirement. It is just for me to see the accounts I created and for you to see the accounts as they are created. Okay, let's begin. I'll give you a general overview on how to use the tool. I've gone ahead and prepped the Excel file already. I'm going to create, what is it, uh, five accounts and here they are there's 25 columns as you can see so and each one are within attributes of the account and if you look at column 25 it says modify or new so by default I'm going to leave it blank because these are will be new accounts so let's go ahead and let's run the program I'll save this minimize and I'm going to create them in the, uh, let me show you, test OU, as you can see from the container here in the test OU. And again, to get these, to fill in these values, you might want to look at my other video to see how you can easily get them. Um, but the columns here in bold are requirements. These cannot be empty. Every other column are optional. So I'll run the program now. I'll import from Excel. Gives you a window to verify the value. And it says five are marked to be created. And zero are account and zero are marked for modification. I'll show you that in a little bit. So click OK. Okay, and the process starting. Okay, it's done. And it gives you a summary. Five accounts were created. And now we open our Active Directory and User Containers group. Hit refresh. The accounts are there. Okay, now that we have our five accounts, let's take a look and pick on uh, Danny Allen. If we double click, notice that but he basically has the uh, basic attributes filled out, but he doesn't have any description, office, telephone number, email, those are all blank. Let's say we want to go ahead and modify his account now. And you could do this as for the remaining account as well. So we open our Excel spreadsheet and just for example, let's only pick on da Danny Allen. We can change his password to any random password you want. And you can set other attributes. Let's put in description. Let's just say he's a good guy. And um, as a reminder, any values you put in with the space, you need to enclose it in quotes. So let's 
put in his title. Let's say he's a senior accountant. And I'm putting in quotes again. Okay, let's just pick, you know, put in more attributes here. Let's just say we want to put his in his office. Let's say he works in San Francisco. And his telephone numbers. Okay, and his one more attributes here. His email. Let's just put Danny Allen at example.com for example okay now this is the most important part if we're going to be modifying his account we need to put in modify in this column here the rest of the accounts we leave alone just leave it blank those accounts were already created so what the software will do it'll read through these rows and it'll notice that since these accounts are have been created already in the previous steps it'll just skip them and when once it sees a row that has a modified tag it'll go ahead and modify uh, this account which is what we're testing is Danny Allen so we'll save this minimize now run the program again import the spreadsheet and in the verify value you'll notice that four are marked to be created but that's not true because in parentheses if the account already exists those will be skipped so as I mentioned going back to column 25 and you can see that here four here exist so those will skip and one accounts are marked for modification and that is here so that looks correct we'll go OK and we're done so now in the summary you'll notice out of four accounts for marked for creation zero were created because they were skipped and one account was modified and here's the accounts that are four were skipped and that makes sense and that adds up to five we click OK go back into the active active directory users and computers hit refresh and now you notice that Danny Allen has the good guy in the description, office, phone, and email. And so it is working as is expected. And this concludes the tutorial. Now, if you're interested in downloading the software, go ahead and go to this website here and then services software active directory and eventually you'll get down to the download menu and since I'm recording this on a really low resolution it doesn't really expand all the way but as you can see from this static navigation menu on the left you download and this is the new version here you're gonna have to register for a new account uh, right here create an account and then once you log in this button will be exposed and you could download the newest version. Thank you for watching.